All right, everybody. What is going on? It's Jacob here. As you can see, uh, we're actually right outside Snap Fitness, the Palms. This has been my home gym for the last five months, and it was the place that I spent the most time whilst getting ready for my my third ever bodybuilding show, which happened three weeks ago here in Christchurch. This was a comeback show for me. This was just for fun. I kept on telling everybody, you know, what people kept on asking me, what are your goals? What are your major goals? Well, honestly, I had none. I had zero goals. I was doing this just for fun and for my own mental strength. To prove to myself that I could get back in shape, to prove to myself and prove to anyone else, not prove, but you know, motivate, inspire. It's not about proving anything really. The only person I'm proving anything to is myself. And if you're doing anything, and if you're doing anything trying to prove things to other people, you know, those that mind don't matter. And those that matter don't mind. So at the end of the day, uh, before I get into this, I'm a bit out of practice. I haven't made a video for a long time. I'm gonna get inside my car. I'm gonna grab my medals, because we do have some silverware, which is pretty awesome. And I'm gonna get my little book um, I've got a couple of notes that I do want to make sure I touch on in this little talk. This is officially my recap of the 2020 Inter IFBB South Island Championships and uh, it was a whole lot of fun. Busy day though. Busy, busy day, I've got to say. But, <clears throat> that is, that's actually how I wanted it. I wanted it to be a busy day. I didn't want to, you know, have too much time to sort of be anxious. Because I tell you what, I was a bit anxious. <laughs> so anyways, guys, I'll put the medals down there. Um, look, I don't know that I'm going to cover everything I need to in this video, but I do need to create this video because it's been three weeks and there are a few people that have been asking and it's about time that I, I let you guys know. It's, you know, I, I did quite well. <laughs> I actually, um, I qualified for the nationals, so in, in, in two uh, categories, um, classic physique and men's physique. Now, I actually competed in all three male divisions. So you've got men's physique in your board shorts, you've got classic physique in your shorter boxer kind of things, and then you've got bodybuilding in your bodybuilding posing trunks, which I had never tried on before I picked them up on the Thursday beforehand. So, you know, that whole week, getting tanned again twice, you know, shaving my body, getting my trunks sorted, doing the carb up, uh, water depletion, a little, little bit of water manipulation, not too much, but all of that, that whole process, that whole peak week process was great. You know, it was it was exciting. It was, uh, it was you know, new to me again. I, I hadn't done it in so long, and there were so many things that I'd actually forgotten about. Uh, but at the end of the day, guys, I made it to the stage <laughs> in all three divisions. And uh, look, before I get into anything else, I will show you my number. I was lucky number seven. And uh, well, these are my three medals. And they're pretty damn heavy, I've got to say. I've got to say, big ups to the NZIFBB for making these medals because they're awesome and I'll keep them forever. Now what you can see guys, I don't know if you can see, but there's a gold medal there. That's a motherfucking gold medal. <laughs> it's actually a gold and two silvers. So, let me run through the, let me run through the results first before I talk about how I thought and how I felt. So the results are in black and white and um, in men's physique, I competed in the open division there was two divisions, novice and open. In the open, I won. That's where I got that gold medal. What that meant is that I went into the men's physique overall pose down or comparison at the end of the show against the winner of the novice category. Now he was absolutely shredded. But I do believe that my structure and my posing was slightly better, although on the day he won. So I got first in <laughs> I got first in the men's physique open category and then I got beaten in the overall, which is fine. Okay, so now we now we move on to classic physique with the shorter shorts. You can show, you know, you start to show your uh, your legs and classic physique as far as my posing, as far as my body structure, I believe I'm probably best suited for that. But this is an untested show. Okay. So the two guys that I ended up going up against in the tall class 
for classic physique, were both six foot three, 105 kg, absolute monsters. And here I am, six foot one, 88 kilograms, natural, trying to stand up against them. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, I bet one of them. <laughs> I got second out of three in the men's in the in the men's classic physique tall category at the end of IFBB South Island Champs. And that, my friends, is this medal. Okay, so two categories, right? I didn't get into the overall for that one, which is fine. Two categories, and I've actually beaten two competitors. Now, I said I wanted to do this for fun, right? But the fact that I didn't actually come last, okay, really got my excitement going, right? And I was like, fuck, I am really enjoying this right now. Then we come to the third category. I weighed in on the day, sorry, the day before we, we have a weigh-in, it's a registration day for two hours, we come and weigh in for anyone who needs to weigh in for their category, right? So I came in, I'd been like 87, 87 and a half, 88 kg, leading up to that. On that day, because I'd started my carb up quite early, and I'd continued, you know, drinking water, which is what you do, you don't cut out water completely, you still drink water up to the day, and then you just assess on the day as to how much you need. So because I did that, because I'd introduced carbs after, you know, depleting throughout the first half of the week, my weight actually shot right up to 91 kg. So I actually weighed in for the bodybuilding category from 90 to 100 kg, when this whole time I was planning on being from 80 to 90. So anyway, it doesn't matter. But at the end of the day, there was only two, there was only two competitors in the 90 to 100 kg bodybuilding class. It was me and another guy, Callum, he's actually a friend of mine, works at Snap Fitness, and he beat me, which is fine, because he wants to be a bodybuilder. And he's way leaner than me. So that was my third of three medals, and that is this one here. So, <laughs> three medals, man. Three medals, three classes, three lots of prejudging, three lots of finals, six pump-ups in total, like, my body was absolutely fried by the end of it, but I had a whole lot of fun. It was a fucking good day. Now, I do have some notes here. I'm going to try and run through them, try and uh, touch on everything that I need to, and just explain how it went, you know, because, like I said, there's way too much shit in my head right now. I've got six videos to shoot today, and this is the first one. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> look, first of all, I want to thank... Shit, I want to thank everybody involved. I want to thank you guys for your support on my posing videos. Um, obviously those videos are not gonna, <laughs> they're not gonna interest, they're not gonna interest everybody. But if you are watching this still, I am gonna say that following today, I've got a four day block that's gonna allow me some time to get back into some reaction videos. So if you are sitting here waiting for some rugby player reacts to football reaction videos, they are coming next week. Hold tight. So my prep started on April the 12th. Okay, April the 12th. This show happened on August the 29th. Now that is, by my calculation, May, June, July, August. That's four and a half months at least. So let's say it was yeah, 19 to 20 weeks. 20 weeks I dieted for this show. The first 11 of those weeks I did on my own, completely. Not tracking a single calorie. In fact, I didn't track a single calorie throughout this whole prep. And if anyone's got any questions about how I actually got myself into a state of 5% body fat without actually tracking anything, and without being too hard on myself, you know, please ask. It was a 20 week journey, nothing happens overnight. And I did really ramp it up in the last four weeks, I will say that. Because I had to, otherwise I was gonna look way too soft up there. But in the end, I was happy with my package and I do have my coach, Steve, to, to, to thank for that. You know, he kept, my, he kept my head in the game when I wanted to quit. Um, and he's, he's been there and done it. You know, he's a professional bodybuilder. He's been on the Arnold Classic stage three times. He's a professional bodybuilder. I wanted him in my corner and I got him. And it was a fantastic thing to do. So, we've been through the results. Competed in all three divisions. Massive day, but I liked it. So the day started at 10 o'clock, we arrived at the venue, at 10.30 I got my tan, my, my show tan. Now on the Wednesday and the Friday before that I'd actually got my, my two base coats, which is what you need to do. Shaved my body, got everything ready, a little bit of carb depletion throughout the first half of the week. Then we ramped it up a little bit on the Thursday, Friday. 
water was high throughout the whole week, took it down a little bit on the Friday, and then had minimal water on the Saturday. But my day on the show day started at 10. 10.30 got the 10, 11.30 we had the athletes meeting. Now there was very limited uh, athletes, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, there was there was not, there weren't many athletes in this, in this competition. Um, and the ones that did still push through COVID to compete, you know, were, were really appreciated, I'm not gonna lie. There was probably about 35 or 40 competitors. As you saw, I had number seven. And um, well, at 12 o'clock on the dot, the show started. We started with men's physique. Following that was classic physique. Then the three uh, women's divisions went. And then last of all was men's bodybuilding. So, you know, it was, it was a, a, a pretty, pretty busy day, but what I will say is that they were so efficient. They were so efficient at putting the competitors through, you know, getting us ready, getting us lined up behind, backstage. You know, there wasn't too many competitors to get ready, which was good. This would never happen unless it was through COVID, but, you know, I was, I was pretty happy to be part of this experience. The show started at 12. I was out of there after having competed in three divisions, three classes. I was out of there at three. So it was a three hour show for me. Um, it probably continued about another hour after that to get the overalls back on stage, you know, um, etc. But yeah, let's say a, t a, you know, a four hour show. One show format from 12 to four, absolutely fantastic, loved it. And I wanna say a massive, massive thanks to Mo Al Masawi, the NZIFBB president. Um, he's been in that role for about 10 years. I met him for the first time five years back in Wellington when I competed in my first show. I vividly remember it. I said to him, I'm competing in the novice men's physique, should I do open? He said, why not? <laughs> I said, sweet bro, I'll do it. Yeah, lo and behold, there was only two guys in the open class then as well, and the other guy, uh, Tom, shit, what was his name? Ed? Tom, Tom something. Anyway, he was massive, massive cunt. Um, absolutely shredded and put me to shame. So I learned my lesson. But this time I, I, I trust my instinct, I went to the open class again and actually bet the other guys. So there you go, there you go. Anyway, massive thanks to Mo for putting this on because not many people would have. You know, pretty much every other bodybuilding show around this time in New Zealand and around the world was either cancelled, postponed. So thank you so much to Mo for, for <clears throat> continuing to support the NZFBB. You know, he was there, <laughs> he, was, he must have been there from six in the morning, that venue. You know, he, he was doing everything himself. There was no one else there. I mean, he, he's already losing money, right? So for him to hire other staff to do things for him, it just wouldn't have worked. He's running a business. He's a businessman, he's an entrepreneur. He understands, he understands business, but he also understands bodybuilding. He understands the culture. He understands how much it means to the competitors. And he was never, ever gonna let that show get canceled. So thank you so much, Mo. Thank you. You gave me an opportunity to complete this journey, come back, and, and jump on the stage again and I absolutely loved it. Thanks mate. So, you know, I've got a few things here that I actually wanted to talk about, but I think I'll make separate videos and I'm just gonna run through them. You know, talking about feeling, <coughs> talking about not tracking a single calorie whilst I was dieting. I literally not tracking a single calorie un until the last week. You know, and that is intuition, that is experience. And this is things that I, I'd like to talk about because I know there's some people out there that love to get in shape, they just think it's too hard. Well, it's not, okay? You need a bit of discipline and take each day as it comes. Now, I also wanted to talk about, you know, the negative effects of, of, of being so lean. And the couple that come to mind were my sleeping patterns were fucked for a while there. You know, I feel cold in certain situations where no one else is feeling cold because my body fat's so low. Um, yeah, when you start getting low on carbs, you start getting angry. You start, you know, your temper starts um, shortening. Things like that. Things like that. And overall, lack of energy okay these are certain things i'm still dealing with now because i haven't put on any body fat for the last three weeks because my plan is actually to continue dieting for another show but we'll get into that in another video um, i wanted to talk about what backstage was like uh, you know I, I it was awesome it was heaps of space because there was there wasn't many competitors we, we did it at a place called the aurora center which is the performing arts center at a massive high school here in Christchurch called Burnside High School. I think it's like the either second or third largest high school by numbers in the southern hemisphere. So you can imagine how awesome the theater was. It was, it was fantastic. The lighting was great. Loads of space. Loads of space to pump up. Although I will say there was only one 
single tiny little mirror. <laughs> so for anyone about to go out on stage, once you've pumped up, you sort of want to hit a few poses, you want to check yourself out, there was one single mirror and that is the one thing that they could have, they could have improved on, although I could have just bought one myself. You know, at the end of the day, if you're a competitor, you want to, you want to bring your own equipment, bring your own food, bring your own pump up, pump up stuff, towel, you know, extra tan, everything like that. And I didn't have a lot of it. I didn't have any of it, to be honest. I just brought myself. But that's all you need. So I wanted to talk about the prep process, tan, shaving. I think I've done that. <clears throat> I wanted to talk about the last week with a little bit of carb depletion. I'm not going to go into you know specific numbers. I think everybody's body's different. So that would, would not be the right thing to do. Um, yeah, Monday to Thursday, a bit higher water, tan, Wednesday, Friday, carb up. Okay, yep, on Saturday, I think I've covered everything. On Saturday, basically my nutrition was two carb meals in the morning. I woke up at eight, I had one. At 10, I had my second meal, and that was it. I had minimal uh, amounts of water throughout that, so that was just adding, you know, adding more carbohydrates, minimal fats, minimal proteins, and minimal water, just to try and fill out my muscles a little bit more, um, without you know spilling over. But I, honestly, at that point, I, I did not have anything to worry about as far as spilling over, because my best look was probably, as they always say, on the Sunday or the Monday after. You know, having eaten a few things, my vascularity had come out, but my midsection was just as tight. So those are some factors, you know, things that you, you learn with your coach. My coach was there backstage, Steve. Thank you. Thank you so much. I gave him a hug. I gave him this kind I gave this guy a hug, bro. After the thing, I was like, bro, I have to give you a hug. This journey's been amazing. Thank you so much for your help. I'd finished my third, you know, my third category. Um, it was all over at that point. I was like, oh my god, thank you, bro. So once again, Steve, thank you so much. We're going to continue working together, and I look forward to it. And um, within the, sorry, between pre-judging and finals, I did eat something else. I wanted some salt, some sodium. Um, I wanted some, some quick-acting carbs and some, some slow-acting carbs. And the way that I did that is I ate some dry oats with some honey and some uh, brown sugar uh, with some banana. And on the salt side of things, as well as a little bit of protein, I had half a fillet of salmon with extra salt that I put on there earlier and I brought it in a little plastic container and ate it. I sat there on the step with my, with my fork, you know, in my bodybuilding shit, <clears throat> eating my salmon. <laughs> a couple of people looked at me weird, but I'm like, bro, we're at a bodybuilding show. No, literally nothing could be weird right now. You know what I mean? This is basically the uh, the epitome of weirdness for the general public and not for me anyway I had a fantastic day and that was my friends my update on the 2020 NZIFBB South Island Championships lucky number seven and um, yeah <coughs> your boy Jacob was pretty proud Pretty proud to get the day done. Pretty, uh, oh, geez, I, I will say I was pretty, um, what is the word? Relieved. Definitely relieved to get the day done. My anxiety levels were up here at the start. They slowly but surely tapered off throughout the day, and by the end of it, I was completely comfortable. Now talking about the future, I do want to do another show, in fact I'm still dieting for another show, it's in five more weeks, I will give you more information on that in the next video, but I'm hoping that my anxiety levels at that show, you know, will not start from such a high level, I feel like I'm going to start here this time, they may spike slightly, but I feel like overall I'm going to be more prepared for this next show and, 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 and lucky I am because this next show is the one that I'm actually taking seriously. You know I've said multiple times this first show was just for fun and it was fun. We had whole, we held a whole heap of fun. whole heap of fun. <clears throat> but this next show I'm taking seriously and this next show provides me with an opportunity to secure something I never ever 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 Ever, 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 ever. How many times can I say ever? Infinity. Inf ever times infinity would have thought possible. And that is to secure an IFBB Pro card. 
as a natural. But I'm going to get into that. So if you've been here this whole entire video, I want to say thanks so much. Um, if you like bodybuilding, stick around. It's not going anywhere. I love bodybuilding. Now I'm competing as well, again. Um, five years on from my last show. So it's all good. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. Um, this video has been going for about 23 minutes and um, I want to say thank you. Peace out my friends. Have a great day.